Hello everyone, this is Chris with CricketUsers.com. Today I have the ZTE Source in front of me. This is an LTE capable device. And I just wanted to give you guys a general feel for how the performance is on it. So we're going to start with Quadrant. This is running a 1.2 GHz uh, dual core Snapdragon 400 processor. I'll just run this test once, give you the numbers really quick, and then move on to Ninamark. I have played some uh, games, some 3D games like Real Racing, and this phone does work fast enough to uh, to play that. If you guys know anything about Real Racing 3, it will scale back the graphics based on how it thinks your um, phone performs. So you're not going to see the graphic quality out of the HTC Max or the uh, the Note 3. HTC Max would look a little bit better and then the Note 3 would look uh, even better than that. I believe it actually uses the uh, information from your device as far as processor, graphics processor, etc. versus actually benchmarking your device. Alright, so the result was 5012. So it came in a little bit faster than the HTC One X, if you re remember that phone. The total was 5,012, CPU 8,509, memory 8,255, I.O. 5,142, 2D 1,000, and 3D 2,155. So these are nowhere near the marks you'll see with the S3 or S4 on Cricut Wireless. Let's run Nina Mark 2. Now this does run it in the highest uh, resolution available for your phone and this phone uh, its display is 854 pixels by 480. It has an Adreno 305 uh, for graphics processing. If you guys want to see how certain games perform on this device, just leave those comments in the comment section below. Let me know what you want me to uh, try out. And I'll give you guys um, some feedback on it. So the result was 58.8 frames per second on Ninamark 2. Like I said, if you guys want to see anything else, else please leave um, comments in the comment section below. Please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's only through viewers like you that I'm able to uh, purchase these devices and make these videos. Thanks a lot.